In a recent statement, Justin Trudeau suggested that more apartments or senior supportive living centers should be developed in areas where seniors currently reside. He highlighted the issue of Canadian elderly living in homes that are far too large for their needs. One of the, one of the things that always comes up for me is the idea that you know, on housing, you have a, a whole bunch of older folks who are living in houses that are too much house for them right now, but their connection to neighborhood, to community means that no, they don't want to move out to the suburbs or to some different city to be closer to their grandkids. They want to be, they want to still live in their community's quality of life. And there is no housing that they can afford even to downsize other than this, other than staying in their big house. So where you're actually working to increase the amount of of you know, apartments or, or, or you know, senior assisted living centers in, uh, in neighborhoods where people currently live in single, uh, single unit, single family homes. You know, that's a piece that you can actually, I don't know that goes directly at the, the animals challenge here, but it does start to look at the kinds of things that give you a way out that will eventually shift those numbers in a meaningful way. However, this proposal raises a significant concern regarding private property rights. Justin Trudeau's remarks seem to encroach upon individual freedom and property rights, suggesting a level of government interference that many find troubling. It's essential to respect the autonomy of our elderly population. They have the undeniable right to choose where and how they live without facing pressure or incentives from the government to downsize or relocate. Let's not forget the importance of community and family ties. We can certainly support initiatives that increase housing options within existing neighborhoods, allowing seniors to maintain their connections with neighbors and loved ones. But we must be cautious. We are deeply skeptical of any government intervention in personal matters, especially when it comes to policies that seem to steer the elderly towards specific living arrangements. Such policies threaten to strip away individual choices and freedoms leading to an alarming loss of personal autonomy.